Hi, my name is Jim Kernodal, and today I'm going to demonstrate my Walmart One base for you. Um, I got this base delivered last week. It is a brand new Walmart One base with a standard figured maple top, uh, the normal bolt on five piece maple, and I believe mahogany neck. It could be walnut. I should go back and read the spec sheet and double check that. Um, and a mahogany core. That's uh, the maple and mahogany core is one of the more common wall configurations. You also see a lot of shedua, um, padout, um, different figured woods on top of them. They're all great. I just like the look of this one. And uh, the nice thing about this is it's actually the standard top grade maple that they offer at wall. So there was no upcharge for this. It's got some light figuring. It's, you know, certainly not like a 5A grade Paul Reed Smith type top, uh, but it has some nice figuring to it, and I kind of like the fact that it's a, maybe a little bit more subtle. Um, it doesn't scream, hey, I'm fancy. Well, it does, but not too much. Uh, today I want to go through the tonal options of the bass, kind of explain the preamp to you a little bit and um, give you an idea of some of the sounds you can get out of one of these things. Um, the preamp, if you're not familiar with a filter-based preamp, is very different from the normal bass, treble, boost, cut, active preamp you're, you may be used to. Um, the controls on this bass, I'll go through real quick. You got a volume knob um, that pulls out to engage something called pick attack, which adds a lot of high treble frequencies. Uh, nice if you want to cut through and get kind of a modern cutting sound. Uh, there's also a traditional blend knob. It's a pan knob that goes either towards the neck pickup, bridge pickup, or blends them both. Uh, then you have the two high pass filters, which work a little bit like a passive tone knob, but uh, there's an extra twist to it. When you pull the knob out, it gets you a little extra boost right at the frequency where the high end is being cut off. It's almost the same concept as a wah pedal, uh, but that's not really the, the idea. I'll run through it and give you an idea through some demonstrations on how it actually works. It's easier to show you and have you hear it than for me to try to explain it. Um, I'll start off with the bass turned with the high pass filters all the way open, no boost of any type, no pick attack, just the pickups evenly blended. Uh, this is kind of the natural sound of the bass. If you hear any distortion, it's probably the crappy microphone on my iPhone not so much the amp. Uh, the next sound I'm going to show you is both pickups on with the pick and attack engaged and disengaged. So natural sound you'll recall. Now pick attack. It's kind of like a stingray type sound with a with the treble boosted up. Uh, the next sound I'm going to show you is my approximation of the Blood Sugar Sex Magic Tone. And for me to get that, I turn the blend knob a little bit towards the neck pickup. And I boost the bridge pickup filter by pulling it out, leaving it at 10. So you get kind of this sound. So that's your, uh, my approximation of a, of a flea type tone. You can also get that big money rush type tone if you're a Getty fan. Um, for me, I get that by having the pickups equally blended and having the Q boost or the filter boost on, on both pickups all the way up to 10. So here's that sound. <laughs> Uh, 
you can get a reasonable approximation of a P bass tone, um, albeit a little bit hi-fi, by blending towards the bridge pickup. And this is something I discovered a while back and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I have the tone pulled out on the bridge pickup but rolled all the way down to zero so it gives almost a bass boost and the Q filter all the way open on the neck pickup and blended more towards the neck. So you get a little bass boost and a little bit of high-end kind of clank sound. Not quite a P bass, but in a mix it could probably get close. Um, another sound you're going to like out of a wall bass is the kind of the J bass bridge pickup tone. Uh, for this one, I don't have any of the Q boosts open. I just leave everything uh, pushed in. I roll the tone off on the bridge pickup a little bit down to about six and I blend towards the bridge pickup, obviously. So that gives me kind of that biting jazz tone. <laughs> sound you can get that's kind of neat is uh, to blend towards the bridge pickup, or actually, I'm sorry, more towards the neck pickup on the knob, it's a beep or bass, um, and roll the passive, or roll the high pass filter all the way down and boost it, which gives you a really deep, low-end, kind of tubby, muddy sound. <laughs> useful you would find that maybe if you were in a reggae band or something um, I'm not so anyway uh, that is a quick demonstration of some of the things you could do with a Walmart one base I hope you enjoyed the video and um, thanks for watching